these lambs are so skittish around me still. Normally after having them for three plus months, lambs would be used to me by now, but not these guys. Well, I'm gonna work on fixing that by spending a little quality time in here with them. I'm gonna do the narration for this update video while sitting right here with the sheep and hopefully that quality time will get them more calm around me. Of course, we have squealing pigs in the background that wanna be fed. They need to wait for dinner. <coughs> Earlier this year, I rented a tiller attachment for my tractor so I could try and use the tiller to smooth out the pig craters in the pasture from years past. After tilling, I had all that exposed earth, so I got a pasture mix and overseeded in the hopes of having nice pasture for the summer. We had a very wet and cool spring and early summer, so we had an explosion of grass. But then the last few weeks have been pretty hot and dry. The new grass that came up from that pasture mix dried out, shriveled, and died. The chicken tractor has finally gotten to that part of the pasture where I had done the overseeding, and the chickens have been turning that part of the ground back into what it looked like right after it was tilling with a lot of exposed earth. Given that, I'm probably gonna have to seed again this fall when the rains start coming back. Can't talk about pig craters without talking about the pigs. They're doing really well on their deep litter system that I have them on now. I'm using a wood chip deep litter system. The only problem is they are just burning through those wood chips. They're turning them over into the ground. And the wood chips are either composting out quickly or disintegrating, something's happened to them. And I'm having to put a lot more wood chips into the deep litter system than I anticipated. In fact, right now, ooh, someone's coming over to say hi. Are you, are you coming to say hi? Are we cool? No. In fact, right now, I really do need to add another load of wood chips in there. As you can probably see from all the dust the pigs are kicking up from that exposed earth. That's not ideal. I definitely want to get that covered back with wood chips to prevent all that dust. A few weeks ago, I mentioned that the solar technician was supposed to come back and finish the installation by getting my batteries installed inside my house. Well, he still has not come back and my batteries are still on the floor of the garage. In other electrical news, an electrician was out here last week and installed a sub panel in what will be my shop. The sub panel runs off of my main panel and will provide electricity for the power outlets as well as lighting in the shop. And because it's connected to the main panel, which is also connected to my solar battery backup bank, that backup system will also be able to supply electricity to the shop if there's a power outage. The bees are back. I don't have much to report about the bees because they just do their thing and I don't really have anything to do with their management, but they're back. It's a good sign they're eating. That means they're not super nervous, but they are being very cautious still. Every time I move, they look over at me. By this time last summer, I was moving the sheep probably three times a day because there really was not much forage on the ground for them. It was so dry. But this year we have so much grass that I've been only moving them once a day because it takes them that long to eat down the forage in this 10 by 10 area. I'm wondering if that's why they're less comfortable with me. Maybe it's because they're not seeing me as much as the sheep did last year. I don't know. Well, that's enough quality time with them today. I am now gonna move them from here way over there. It's a little bit of a long move, so I'm gonna get the tractor to pull the mobile pen the distance.